Hello and welcome to the Critic Uculus. We are in Empire of Sin, episode 10 now of our Frank Reagan series. Uh, thank you for joining back, guys. If you have stuck with me through all 10 episodes, thank you so, so much. Honestly, the support is appreciated so, so much, honestly. Um, and I, I always get absolutely amazing feedback from you guys as well with the comments and stuff like that. So, muchly appreciated. Um... So let's get into this now. We are in exactly where we were in the last in the last episode. Um, I didn't do anything else. Uh, pretty much saved the game, turn it off, and uh, here we are reloaded next day. So we are looking for more places to take over. Um, I believe this is his manor. So we've got a few little places to take over. Hopefully we can actually do that. And take him out today. That's the plan. That's what I'd like to do. No idea where this is. Three versus three. Sounds a bit random to me. Unfortunately, though, he does have a lot of rackets. So whether we can fit all of that in in one episode, I don't know. But we, we will definitely have a look. Oh, three versus three. Two of them are not mine. So, uh, not so sure that is a three versus three. Got it. Oh, and we are a melee character as well. My thoughts on this are <laughs> run to the other guys for help. That is, that is my thoughts. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Obviously, if I die, fight's over. But at the moment, it looks like I've got two people backing me up. So um, if I can survive long enough for them to do a little bit of damage, then all good. Bob's your uncle. Oh, look at that. Three of them are half health, and I have done sod all. Quite like that. Of course, you know, if I abandon the fight, they just attack the racket. When they, uh, when they attack the racket, they're probably going to win if I don't weaken them on the outside. Um, and of course, that means that's just another racket that I have to take over. Obviously, I got stuck majorly in a loop like this a few episodes back. It really, really set me back. Um, so I'm going to try and avoid that. Hopefully, this doesn't turn into one of those. But there we go, they haven't got one person left, and he's down to half health. I think whatever we've got on the inside, we'll be able to uh, manage that. Got him. But if it wasn't for these guys, um, we would have been stuffed. Us with a bowie knife. We're still choosing not to attack us. That's um, silly. Very silly. Assholes. Try one more time. So let me know down in the comments. Interested to know, really. Are you here playing Empire of Sin? Wanting to play Empire of Sin? Because A, it's a gangster game. Or B, because it's a turn-based combat game. I'm interested to know what turned you on to this game. You know, what it is about this game that you guys love. Now, me personally, I love the gangster theme. I have said it in other playthroughs. I'm not sure I've said it in this playthrough, but I've played a lot of gangster games. Uh, going back years, honestly. Um, so I love gangster games. Um, and I also love turn-based combat. Turn-based combat for me goes way back to uh, Final Fantasy days. You know, I loved Final Fantasy um, for many, many years. I've probably played I'll handle it. most of the ones that are out. Haven't played them all. Can't say I have played them all, but I have played most of the Final Fantasies out there. And of course, then you have got Wasteland Three. I played Wasteland Two as well. Love that XCOM being another favourite of mine. 
Um, so I've played quite a few turn-based games. Um, so for me, it's kind of because this is a mixture of two genres that I absolutely love. Um, it was a no-brainer that I was going to, you know, pick this game up. And I kind of knew I was going to like it regardless of how it turned it out. I mean, it ended up being a great game and it ended up being a game that lacked a little bit of depth. I've said that before, you know, I don't think that being honest about a game's flaws is a bad thing. I think that's, you know, a good thing, especially as I, you know, I strive to be the best critic I can be. Um but I do like where this game is going. I like the amount of potential um, that is within this game. And I love that the devs behind this game are so, so active in the community. Um, I think that's a rare thing in this day and age. So it is nice to see, you know, a little bit of transparency. Um, we are not... Well, we are going to make that throw, okay. No, no, we're not. We hit our own person, but honestly, I don't care. And R for the finish. Well done, oh, we got a new blue pistol. That is pretty good. Um, attempt to bribe. Okay. We'll bribe. Bribe successful. Let's take over this little racket. I think we've got three, three gangsters in here to take out, or well, three guards. Okay, maybe four. Ooh, he's still going to be alive. Let's take out this one because we're walking so far. Obviously, I told you in the last episode we do extra damage, you know, per step we have to take. So we've done three, oh, 300. That's a dreaming. We've done 103, which is pretty bloody good. There we go. I've got an interesting question for you as well, actually. Um, so hopefully this episode generates a lot of comments. Um, so as you can see, I'm playing this playthrough without a boss. Because I'm playing without a boss, I don't really have access to a lot of the missions. So I'm wondering how many of you guys actually play this game um, without playing any missions at all, just go for straight gameplay. Um, or how many of you actually love you know, the missions within the game? Um, interested to know because I think when I first got this game, on the original Xbox, um, the game didn't perform the best. And I found that I had the most problems. Um, okay, we got our, our gangster back. Um, I found that I had the most problems when engaging in the missions. Now, I know a lot of that has been fixed now, but my first playthrough in this game was without doing the missions at all. Um, but I know a lot of you love the roleplay element in this game. And so... Quite rightly, you you know, you, you love the, uh, well, because we can't fast travel, let's do this one first. Anyway, yeah, so because, you know, quite rightly, you, you, you like the little missions as well. Let me know anyway. All right. Do you like reading the old comments? Are we close enough to start a battle? Nice. It's always so much quicker if I can get the ambush. You know what I mean? Especially when they only have a couple of people to take out. Just get it done. Oh, we hit a 40. Very nice. Nice to see Jack's just got his, uh, his little trait as well. 
Uh, finally getting 10 kills of his pistol. It's taken bloody long enough. Oh my god, we've got 100 kills. Would you Adam and Eve it? I am going to check that bad boy out right now. So it's called Counter-Strike. Let's have a little look-see. Uh, it would be here. Here we go. Counter-Strike. This person will automatically attack a character that comes within melee range. That is pretty good. Now, Frank Reagan has the exact same thing. Um, so that's really interesting that you get it on the, uh, the melee oath for 100 kills. That's pretty cool. See, I personally, um, I don't think I've ever had a character get a hundred melee kills before. Um, so that's that's an interesting one. Hundred melee kills, that is pretty good. But plenty of combat in this uh, in this playthrough, that's for sure. And you see, that character, whenever I've had a chance to use him, and normally... Especially early game, he was the first person to always attack. So he would always go for the melee kill if he could. It, was, it wasn't easy to, um, to level it up, honestly, though. You know, it was quite a grind. I don't think I've got any other character even close to 100 kills, though. And he has 135. Of course, remembering the start of this playthrough wasn't uh, smooth sailing. You know, we lost quite a few little gangsters, um, especially when we were running around with just two gangsters. That was, uh, that was rough times, that was. See, the cops, they really started the war against me, so it's their own bloody fault. That's me not paying attention. Killing someone who's already dead. Might be able to finally upgrade his little zip gun, to be fair. Haven't needed it, you know, his... Um, his pistol that much you know um, I think early game I would weaken a target with the pistol and then obviously I'd finish them off uh, with the melee and it that worked really bloody well All right. uh, can we actually get hit on anybody with this that's yeah, the big fat no Oh, moved into range though. Thank you very much. And we are done. Just like being back yeah, in the like range. Got ourselves another vest. Not that we need it. Okay, we're done. Just jump out of here. All right. Any moment now, mate. Nice. Unlocked a couple of people with... Uh, the problem is, it's happened so late in the game that um, for us, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, and I really don't need another gangster. I, I may well get another gangster. Um, I believe we're actually at our limit of 10. Are we at our limit? Let's have a quick look. We are at our limit. So the only time we're actually going to get another gangster now is if somebody dies. The likelihood of someone dying will only be if a safe house 
a safe house hit actually goes wrong, which could well happen. Um, obviously, the last, I believe there's three gangsters left, so the last three gangsters, um, you know, they've got time to get stronger. It would be nice if they hired a few more gangsters just to make the fights a little bit harder. Oh, shrapnel bomb the police officer. Yes, please. Anyone else the uh, vehicle clip in the curb there? It's not very nice, is it? impressive to hit those shots I don't think they were very high on the old uh, probability and now there's just one behind what is that newspaper stand maybe Well, we blew him out of cover anyway. I'll handle it. Well, there we go. I got the 10 kills on the old pistol as well. It took a little minute, to be fair. But that's the problem with getting, you know, a lot of the bigger gangsters. Um, they cost too much. They take too long to actually get hold of. Um, meaning that by the time you get your hands on them, they don't have the traits and the perks that you're kind of used to already using. Okay. Ooh. Nice oh, sneaky shotgun blast. Well done. Left on one half again. Like I said, that has happened uh, yeah, okay. a fair bit. Where are the other two there? Up this way? At least one of them is. Where is the last guy? Do you not see him? It will be his turn in a minute, though. Hell yeah, ready to roll. Missed. A swing and a Damn miss. It. Oh, he is. A way away. Good old R. Got some good stats on them. All right. Bleeding and poison. It is a very good combo. It's just. I normally kill them in the first round, you know. Shit, they got me. Oh, oh. Ah, shit. We hit a forty. Very nice. Take that one over. We actually get through the door. Let's rock and roll. We did. Okie dokie. So, if we have a quick zoom out, 
we have one more down here and he still has three more rackets which is actually quite a few um i don't know if we are going to get to it to be fair don't know if we're going to be able to uh, get to the safe house today. Depends if they attack any more of our rackets and just how fast this goes. Got it. Down to one health. Come on now, dude. You right. are taking the biscuit. Here we go. Let's have a go at the old uh, dollhouse. <laughs> really don't think we should be able to uh, teleport straight in the middle. I think that's a little bit silly. I mean, I get cramming in a door. I do. But not that. So there's two in the back room, maybe? I'm going to say yes. And the doctor's turn. He's still in that back room. I can't hit him. You see how weak they are? I mean, 13 damage to a shotgun. You know, close range. In the back? It needs to deal more damage on hard difficulty. Honestly, it does. I mean, I get that... You know, that character is a bit of a tank. Completely understand that. Okay. But it should do more than 13 damage. Come on. Although I guess he does have the best armor I've currently got in the game. Uh, speaking of armor, I actually did only find one decent uh, piece of armor, though. Only one purple in my entire playthrough. Um, and, of course, that's been attacking the bosses. Oh, my God. Going the bloody wrong way. You know, attacking the bosses that um, okay. I'm seriously going in circles. There we go. Go down there. To the door, please. I did get lucky on the blue armors, though. I think I've got, I think most of my gangsters are all kitted out in rare armor. You know, I'd quite like, not that it's currently needed, but quite, I would quite like legendary armor. Now that would be interesting. Wants to learn a new trait, which is That's swell, ain't it? one we've kind of already got. What? He wants a truce. We're going to see no deal, dude. Ah, oh, did I just run away? Yeah, you got it. Feel like I did. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I think they went to go into a fight. I accidentally hit abandon fight, and it seems to have abandoned the actual racket, which is a bit random. Now that's also a bit random. Alright, so there's a police officer in. So they're attacking one of my rackets, I think, just around the corner from me. And of course, it's brought in all my gangsters as well. Um, so move down here. All right. Again, we'll move down here. 
Sure. Yeah, let's two Donovan guys right here. Assholes. I shouldn't need jacks. Moving. And I don't think we're gonna need Gibby either. Well, lucky for me, they're running to closer to my gangsters. Again, don't need Jack sort of doctor. Wish it was a faster way to end all that. God. Okay. Oh, we missed. That's annoying. Assholes. Do a shotgun blast. I think we can... Oh, no, we did get two. Very nice. And we should be able to finish him off now, too. Oh, we missed that one. All right, my bad. Oh, we've got loads to skip. It's really annoying. This is our fault for having so many bloody gangsters. When honestly we don't we don't need this many gangsters. I mean, not at the moment. I think the safe houses are the only times that, you know, we need that many gangsters. Um, kind of annoying that they still got to attack my building considering I killed everyone. Therefore, they shouldn't actually have anyone to be attacking with. It's just making a battle for no reason. And unfortunately, uh, these little battles are already mind-numbing. Mind Can't even say it. Mind-numbing. Thank you. Thank you for dying so swiftly. Okie dokie. So, back up to where we were. Consider it done. Ooh, 99 crit damage. Very nice. Oh, oh, we missed a little shot there, mate. Ooh, 47 damage. I still can't get over how bloody powerful her gun is. It's, it's ridiculous. Her pistol is ridiculous. Of course, that is only... Um, when we get a crit, obviously, um, you know, without the crit, it's not, it's not all that. We've seen that, but with the crit, it is bloody powerful. God damn it. Consider it done. Shit. Nice. You see, them then using the meat hook on me didn't damage me and allowed me to use my perk to kill them. 
Silly, silly. <sighs> 46 damage, very nice. See, the crit hits way too much on her. Well, he's dead next turn. All right. I'm here. Did I say a hundred and twenty eight damage? That is huge. Leave it to me. Let's move Jack up. And we'll move the doctor up. I'm going. I think everyone is back up there now, so not much we can do. We've got three back there. Kill. No, two, okay. I try and use remember to use the explosives as much as possible. I'm kind of terrible at remembering to use explosives in most playthroughs. Yeah, so I am trying to remember. Got it. Let's go. Dead, dead, and dead. Quite a few uh, guards in here, actually, isn't there? And fire, nice one. Well, that's where Enders go. He's too bloody far away to do anything. Moving. And that worked out nice too, didn't it? If we connect, and we do. Oh, I should have shot him first. I'm an idiot. I should have shot him with a pistol. Like so. And then I would have still had access to his yeah. melee as well. Oh, we got some good stuff there. Very nice. Up to 7.53. We might actually hit a thousand in this playthrough, you know. But unfortunately, guys, looking at the time, it doesn't look like we are going to manage to do the safe house. Um, as we have one more racket. Ew. We have one more racket. And we also have this little hit squad to take care of. Um, so... 
I think what I'll do is I'll set it up so that way at the beginning of the next episode we are straight outside Donovan's doorstep. That way we can guarantee, you know, the hit. I'm on it. And um and guarantee, you know, an actual uh, safe house battle in the next episode. Uh, sorry it hasn't worked out, you know, within this one. Obviously, there were uh, quite a few battles to do, quite a few little things. Um, but don't forget, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit that like button. And, uh, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And, um, guys, thank you very much for joining me for the 10th episode of this playthrough. It's massive. Good little, uh, good little play through this. It's been fun, and I will see you in the next episode. I'll catch you later. Like being hey, back in the like ring. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sure.